In this video, we'll talk about Taylor polynomials, define them, and talk about one way in which you can think about Taylor polynomials as objects. So our next topic here is about Taylor polynomials. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can think about these objects and how they behave and what they do. Um, the first we're going to talk about is the idea of truncating Taylor series, or basically cutting off a Taylor series after so many terms. The idea you want to have in mind for this is if you want to use a Taylor series to approximate a function, and you want to do this on a computer, well, you can't use the entire series to approximate the function. You can only store a finite amount of data in the computer. So you thought, well, let me just only take a finite number of terms in the Taylor series and see where that gets me. And the point of talking about Taylor polynomials are these are those truncated things. These are those finite number of terms in the Taylor series. And we want to know, is that still a good approximation of the function? Well, the answer in pretty much all cases where you'd want to use a Taylor series, the answer there is yes. It still is a good approximation, even if I only take a finite number of terms of this series. And that's the point of talking about these Taylor polynomials here, is this is the way they can be used and how they actually work to be good approximations to functions in this way. What is a Taylor polynomial? Well, a Taylor polynomial is basically what I was hinting at. It's basically just the first n terms of a Taylor series. So for function f with at least n derivatives, I can define a Taylor polynomial of order n at a in this way. And so the idea here is basically I'm taking my normal Taylor series sum and I'm just chopping it off at some upper index n. So instead of going up to infinity, I go up to this n. Right, so for example, something like d2 of x would look like f0 derivatives at a over 0 factorial times x minus a to the 0, f1 derivative at a 1 factorial x minus a, plus f2 derivatives at a, 2 factorial x minus a squared, or just f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a, plus f double prime at a over 2 times x minus a squared. There's just one example there. The point being, I'm basically taking my Taylor series and only writing out the first n terms. Similarly to Taylor series, we also have Maclaurin polynomials, right? We had Taylor series and Maclaurin series. Now we have Taylor polynomials and now Maclaurin polynomials. And that just means my center A is zero, like it was before. The point of this setup is we can use our ideas from Taylor series to then write out some Taylor polynomials. We'll talk about why these are useful um, later on, more than I've hinted at already. But we can just use Taylor series and chop them off at a certain point to write out Taylor polynomials. So if I want the fourth order Taylor polynomial of 1 over 1 minus x centered at 0, well, we know what this Taylor series is. The Taylor series for 1 over 1 minus x is just sum from 0 to infinity of x to the n, because that's the power series for this function. And we know that if we have a power series that converges, we then have a Taylor series that's the same thing. Then what is the fourth order Taylor polynomial here? It's just the terms up to degree 4 in this series. So it should be 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and plus x to the fourth, the terms up to degree 4. It's not four terms, it's terms up to degree 4, so it's going to be five terms. The other fact to make sure of here is it's important that this here was centered at 0. If it was not centered at 0, I have to do more work to figure out what the actual series was because this right here is a Taylor series at 0, and that's one that I already knew. If I wanted a different one, I have to be more careful with how I set this up because that might not work in the same way. As long as we have the right Taylor series, it becomes easy to write out Taylor polynomials because it's just the series and then stop after a certain point. That's our first definition here of Taylor polynomials, the fact that it's just the Taylor series cut off after a certain point, and we'll see later how these use can be help us to approximate functions, particularly if we want to do so in a computer where we can only store a finite number of terms of a series, and we'll show that we can still actually get a good approximation to it using these polynomials.